Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. I have to admit, oh, we're on random here. Let me forgo the bragging until we see if we get the lost. Azazel, okay. Now it's like completely risk-free. I shouldn't say that, but I'm gonna. Four anus, A-D-E-D. -D. That's a weird seed. Um, but what I was gonna say before randoming, and you know, that would have invoked the Rebirth Gods who would have punished me by giving me the lost, is that I do feel like I'm kind of in that phase in Rebirth that happens every now and then where I can do no wrong even when I make mistakes. I mean, this Azazel run is probably going to be a pretty simple one. Azazel, sorry. This Azazel run is probably going to be um, a little bit of a, uh, a stopgap, basically, until we begin our next kind of, you know, group of three Eden Isaac random run. Is Northern Line ever going to say Azazel right? I mean, it's not like it's a super obscure biblical character from a book written 2,500 years ago. Well, how does he not know it? Okay, I'm sorry for, you know, straw manning you with the easiest humor shortcut of all time, which is just make a funny voice. Speaks to the, you know, primitive parts of the human brain. That guy can't be smart. He's talking in a funny voice. Anyway, for now, this is going incredibly. I mean, I don't even need to talk about some of the stuff that we've picked up here, but... You know, the Fool card is gonna be our failsafe for getting into and out of boss rush for free. Ghost Baby is shitty, but it is what it is. And, oh, there's something that spawned there, yeah. We basically, we have plenty of time. We're only a minute into this floor, and we're looking pretty badass, I gotta say, with our uh, bandana on here. No HP upgrades is the only thing that bothers me a little bit because we don't have more than three Spirit Hearts, even three and a half, so we can't actually take a deal with the Devil yet. But uh, hopefully that'll resolve itself on the next floor. Even though we have no bombs and not enough money to, to buy a Spirit Heart, that's the kind of thing that I hope will get handled. But we're on the basement. Even if we can't take a deal with the Devil, we could try to roll a deal with the Angel run as Azazel. Deals with the Angel are kind of unreliable. Um, you know, one change that I might like to see in Afterbirth... And some people might disagree with this, and I'll admit that it needs more time to, t to think about how the repercussions would work out. But I would love to see a change to the uh, Angel and Devil Room mechanics so that you actually got Deal with the Angel precedent, as like, and you couldn't change it as soon as you skipped a Deal with the Devil. And I know people are going to say, but, you know, sometimes you don't skip a Deal with the Devil because you want to Deal with the Angel. Sometimes you skip a Deal with the Devil because you don't have the HP. In a way, I kind of want to say, like, you know, tough luck. It would lead to more... Azazel runs, or sorry, more Angel runs, which would be cool. Does Isaac's Tears work with, like, Brimstone effect? No, that's gonna be awful, but, um, so be it. I can't deny our luck right now. We've had two crawl spaces. One gave us a good trinket, the other one gave us a, a decent item in Juicy Sack. Isaac's Tears is terrible, but, um, lots of, lots of Tinted Rocks. Like, our HP is up now. We got that Eternal Heart as well. Uh, and now we have exactly enough money to buy something from our shop. Well, we have a little bit more than exactly enough money to buy something from our shop. Plus that curse room, which I am going to visit, but we got to, you know, make it work first. We're going to buy some bombs if we can. Some keys would not hurt either. Seriously, though, let me into the boss room. And another spirit heart here, plus whatever the item is from Larry Jr. A tears upgrade is big here, and any deal with the devil is ripe for the taking for us. Not gonna take Guppy's Paw and get ourselves killed. Instead, Whore of Babylon to just make ourselves crazy strong. No uh, curse room here. It kind of worked. <laughs> it hit the enemy. It didn't kill him, but it hit them. Okay, two keys means we can start opening some golden chests. Man, financially, we improved a lot there. Buy a key and a bomb. I think that's all we need to feel pretty good. Bombs are all we need. Are we gonna... Open these. Just got money out of that one. A little disappointed. I don't know what I was hoping for there. Um, well, we still have a Tinted Rock, so I'm going to come in here. It'll cost us half a black card. No way this kills me, right? Okay. We could have fooled out, but I don't think it's necessary. Um, let's take a quick peek here for maybe a secret room. Oh, Abel, you, almost, you might have fucked me there, Abel. And I should have used that to blow up a Tinted Rock, but I'm an idiot. Alright, down to the next floor. All things considered, a couple mistakes in there. But uh, the game is being exceptionally kind to us right now. Let's see what we got over here. Uh, another trinket and some money. Trinket's not really what I'm looking for now. This is, if I may, sandbag. 
to sandbag. Uh, it's a verb meaning to act like something's hard when you actually are very easily going to surmount it. Or, you know, like when you're playing a uh, fighting game or something like that, be like, oh no, you got me on the ropes, and then just come back and kick the shit out of them, right? Doesn't leave anybody feeling good. Uh, if I may sandbag for a moment, this is where we have to be careful, because we're kind of... You know what? I'm going to fool a card here, just to save us a little bit of problematic stuff. Um, I'm at the uh, intersection of kind of like hubris and low HP. And now I have no fucking idea where we are. But I am, I'm at the intersection of hubris and low HP. Where I'm living, I gotta say, wasting my time at the corner of hubris and low HP. Um, there we go. Uh... I could, my way of saying that, or what I'm saying there, is basically that I have a good run, no question. However, uh, one or two bad mistakes could turn it into a very dangerous situation, and I don't want pride to basically put me in that situation if I can avoid it. I'm not thrilled about bomb bag, but we do need bombs, so, you know, sometimes medicine doesn't taste good, I guess. If we find tinted rocks, we will open them up. Really, really hoping that we can get into our shop here. That's not going to do it just yet. And that's probably not a secret room if I had to guess. Well, we're getting a lot of bombs. We can start to blow up some mushrooms if we feel able to it. If we feel able, get it? Because we picked up able earlier. It's not. It wasn't intended, but do you get it? I'm thinking that we kind of save like Isaac's Tears as like Scary situation, actually. We save Isaac's Tears as kind of like a panic black bean. Enemies get close, we're like, alright, get away! Back off, get your own sandwich! Let's try not to die here. Like, that would be my ideal course of action. If I could avoid passing away. It's very risky, because, like, these bosses could do one full heart of, to, of damage to me. I would rather they didn't. Pestilence. Pestilence that doesn't shoot bombs. Life's good, man. Just cool hits. <laughs> okay, I get it. We both got white creep, man. We don't need to brag about it, okay? Thank you, ghost baby. Single cube of meat. I kind of just want to leave the floor. But I would really, really like to go to the shop. One pill. Two pills. A liberty cap. Range up. Telepills. Full health. Take telepills. Hoping it teleported us into the shop. Um, we'll explore a little bit more. God, I, I can't lose on this run. Because it would just be too perfect. My fucking hubris, man. Well, we got an Azazel run, so we're probably fine. Yeah, Whore of Babylon, what could go wrong? Oh, too many crawl spaces. I don't like to I don't like to make it that easy on the game, you know? It's too perfect. It's, it's ridden like it's it's too easy. Joker, maybe? Two of spades. Okay. Pop that, that allows us to get into the shop. I know I immediately I was just talking about hubris, and now I'm gonna go back to being a little bit egotistical, but if there's a spirit heart on this shop, it just helps us out so much. Puts us in such a good position. There's a spirit heart and there's red candle. Portable slot could be fun as well, but um, the red candle pickup is is really good for us here. Augments our damage even more so than we already had it. No complaints there. And uh, that actually gives us a little extra range effectively. I know we got a range up pill, but this gives us the ability to really... Um, take out enemies from afar and with a decent damage dealing potential, so I like it. And our boss room is right there. So we'd be expecting a deal with the devil on the next floor. It does put us in a risky position, no question about it. Let's see what we get here. Well, definitely don't need the amnesia pill. <laughs> That's already done for us. You played right into my hand, game. How did you know that I play better when I've got amnesia? Just, uh... Yeah, exactly. Be smart here. You got cover. Bonies are so effing annoying. Strong feelings about these ones. Pheromones. Speed down. That's probably the worst thing we could get right now. Because we're already at uh, a position where we couldn't get a health downgrade. 
Might catch one there with that red candle. Did not. Life goes on. Uh, how do you feel about that cursed room? I love cursed rooms. Little bit scary on HP here. I'm gonna try it anyway, though. Oh, yeah, Caves 1, man. This is so... Wait, Caves 2? <sighs> Gotta use it anyway. Yeah. We got one item, two spirit hearts. Oh, okay, so that's actually, like, better than the Caves 1, I guess. That HP is really helpful. Let's immediately throw it away on this uh, blood bank. Oh, na right! I was like, why am I not doing so much damage anymore? I totally forgot that I had Horror of Babylon completely spaced on it. Um... Yeah, it would be awesome if we could uh, get rid of our HP in such a way that we could actually pick up some more HP with it, you know? I know we could maybe earn an IV bag or something there, but if we could get rid of um, get rid of our HP to pick up, like, the Mark and Ceremonial Robes or something like that. Otherwise, we should really just start stacking up Spirit Hearts and, and stop worrying about HP so much, but I am happy that we got the HP upgrade regardless. I think that <laughs> helped me a lot here. Alright, now I'm starting to feel like, a little bit more calibrated. Three pills. Full health? No. Speed down? No. Speed up! Yeah, okay, there we go. Navigated the minefield there. The more of those we can get, the better. I'm very frightened. Like, with the Zazel, it's the low range plus the fact that uh, either the enemy shoots on you with direct line of sight, which you need to hit enemies, or they do that curve shot, which is difficult to avoid when you're coming right in at them. Okay, item room. Very useful. Necessary. All other adjectives. I know we're not using red candle that much. Oh, that's so good. I know we're not using red candle that much right now. It's because, you know, we do do so much damage with our actual shot that red candle is kind of like my secondary already. I should be using it, but... Uh, we'll, we'll save it for enemies that, you know, are a little further away that we don't want to get in on. Like that guy right there. Then we can come in from the side. That opened up a nice little window for us. Devil card, I believe, guarantees you a deal with the devil. Oh, man. I don't know what I did there, but we still got four, which is pretty solid. That coat hanger is allowing me to seriously, uh, charge up these Azazel shots so quickly, too. So we still got Mom's Pearl. A little bit feeling a little bit more clickety clackety on the keyboard than usual here. That's all right. Whatever gets the job done. I'm just happy that it seems like we've navigated ourselves out of that like really scary position, you know, mere moments ago where we basically only had one heart and life was looking, you know, dangerous. Yeah. Okay. For sure. Compass. Not really necessary to get sharp plug here. We'll buy the key just to keep ourselves in the money. And I guess I fucked up my horror Babylon setup again without realizing it. I guess we'll go back to the blood bank. Unless our deal with the devil just works out well for us. I understand I'm leaving some consumables behind. That's uh, in the interest of efficiency, I suppose. Nothing wrong with little Chad anymore. Now that Dark Bum's in the game, little Chad is a nice, uh, nice helper. No deal with the devil. I'm surprised. I'm very surprised. Alright, even with Amnesia, I'll take the time to not be an idiot. I'll work my way back here. Come on, just give me... As a, as penance for that, give me Magic Mushroom. Range up's not the end of the world as a Zazel. Not a huge boost, but if we can get enough of them, we'd feel good about it. We'll come back for that on our way back. Hopefully I remember. Seem to recall the arcade being over here, but this also seems to be uncharted territory. So I guess what I'm saying is I don't know what I remember. But we have been here. Okay. Um, this way? Yeah, we've already been in that room, right? This way? This way. Okay, oh, no, we've been in the curse room. Correct. We don't need to do boss rush. We can keep that on the back burner a little bit, but... The boss trap room would be nice. Because we can kill it, like, basically instantly. We're on caves two, caves two. Yeah. Hmm. Well, we know we're not getting Guppy's Paw. I'll open that. You know what? I think we can get rid of Mom's Pearl for, for Flat Penny. We've been a little low on keys. Be nice to sort that out. We've got a big, like, ask, though. we got a real problem. Which is that I can't reliably keep myself in the Horror of Babylon state. We've really got to pay attention to these half-hearts. And preferably not put ourselves in a situation where I'm, I'm messing it up. 
Look. You know what? We do so much damage. We can afford to roll two of spades. Absolutely. Okay, so we're going to be at like 12, eh, 13 minutes when we head down to the next floor. Nothing wrong with that. I didn't even see this room my first time through. Let's see if we can get a Joker card or something. A rune of, of some sort. Algaes. Might as well give ourselves one key, take Algaes. Algaes, it's too good to pass up, basically. Could potentially win us the game if we don't find ourselves balling out of control. And we're very, very close to that. And I mean, as a Zazel, you're always pretty close to it, right? But... I would like to... Uh, yeah, our range is actually getting alright. I would like to get to that point sooner rather than later. Like, a too hard brimstone deal wins us the game right now. That's a big ask. I'm basically asking for the best item in the game. And also to permanently put me in the Horror of Babylon state. But that is, like, the easiest way to success for us. It's not like that's going to influence whether or not we actually get it from the game. We also have Little Chub, so we got to be careful about the, the red hearts that are going to be dropped. Sorry, by Little Chad, not Little Chub. I like to cancel the Brimstone shot after enemies die just to keep me on my toes. Smart Fly. I like it. This is Curse of the Blind. Dark Bum would be a great pickup. As a result of our Horror of Babylon shenanigans. Extra Spirit Heart. Never hurt anybody. Probably. This is why we have to stay in the Horror of Babylon state. It makes it so easy for us to kill these enemies. Let's be honest. If we play that Judgment, we will be expecting an HP upgrade to drop. And with Curse of the Blind, you know, we can't guarantee that it won't. We gotta start with the one heart deal first. And then take the two heart. Goathead. Beautiful, beautiful pickup. And then Death's Touch. Okay, so that's going to be an enormous damage increase for us. And we're in the Horror of Babylon state. That's going to be our second cube of meat. Um, I don't think we play the Judgment, man. Like, I think we don't... We just stay away. We stack up Spirit Hearts instead. And hope to pick up... Uh, hope to pick up Spirit Hearts instead of HP upgrades. Speed ups are worthwhile for us here. It gives us a lot more maneuverability. Now it's starting to feel like we're in the zone here. Like, the damage we're doing is great. We can... Have a reasonable chance to build up a spider army with Juicy Sack. That doesn't normally happen. Emperor card is good. The Gaz Rune will use immediately for the Spirit Heart, but we'll take Algiz with us. It's a little bit more valuable. Take this. Take this. Oh, the Gaz purified our curse as well. If we wanted to, we could go play the, uh, the Judgment. Might be a waste of money, but it, it could not be as well. There is that mini boss down here. Um, I don't know what I'm really hoping for out of a mini boss. Oh, Super Pride could give us nine lives. Various other bosses, you know, effects of their own varieties. Nine lives, probably the best, although it would fuck up our Horror of Babylon state. Eh, I mean, it's a bit of a weird situation here, but... I'm just happy we got some bombs and didn't really invest anything to get them, so I can't really complain that much. One of the best offensive runs we've had recently, and, you know, except for that Tammy's head death's touch ridiculous, you know, proptosis run we had. This run's definitely up there. The only question, and there's, it's not really even that big of a question mark right now, is can we survive long enough to win this run without anything that gives us uh, spirit hearts? The answer is maybe. It's been done before, but I'd feel a whole hell of a lot better if we could get Dark Bum. Dark Bum... Plus Little Chad is just... It's a match made in heaven. Those items are built for one another. A passive item that gives you red hearts and a passive item that turns red hearts into spirit hearts. It's our dream item right now. And we're stacking up a good degree of consumables. Can't be salty about that. And anytime we can kill those guys who are relatively tanky before they can do anything is... Uh, it's good in my books. We're going to be right on schedule if we want boss rush. Do we want boss rush? Very good question. We have a great spacebar item for taking out Boss Rush. It's like, you know, do you want to eat at McDonald's? You got the metabolism of a 13-year-old swimmer. Go enjoy your Big Mac while well, you can, you know? We're going to just head down to the next floor. Um, we, uh, we, we could make it work. And if we can, I'd like to. But it's not going to be my number one priority. Number one priority is, to be honest with you, not getting hit. Killing enemies is going to be easy enough. Speed down. Full health. Basically, we just point and shoot at the enemies, and that'll that'll solve itself for us. Not quite one-shotting bosses yet, but we're not too far away. That was a good opportunity for Red Candle that I squandered a little bit, but 
Still got most of the damage done in there, and this will do it right here. All right. All right, where next? Um, well, we're... I wouldn't say we're too far behind, so let's go up to the uh, item room and shop. And then if we have to, we can make a beeline. Come on. Yeah, if we have to, we can make a beeline for our uh, boss room. And the Algiz rune is perfect for boss rush, so that would be an awesome pickup for us if we're able to get there. It's all about timing at this point. Dumb damage. Can't afford to take too much of that. In fact, uh, I should be looking out for Tinted Rocks here. We got no choice in the matter, so we'll take Brother Bobby and hope maybe like BFF shows up. Although Hive Mind would be better, considering we have Mulligan and uh, Juicy Sack. Hive Mind would be a really nice DPS improver. Got to pick up all the keys. It's 17 and a half minutes. Getting a little tighter now. Not by much, but by a little bit. We'll come back for that. Ah, I fucked up the red candle shot there. Twice. That was real bad. Spirit Heart. Blue map, absolutely. Uh, I don't think we need anything else here. Take our key with us. Of course. It's still a little bit, I don't want to say spotty, but like a little bit unassured as an Azazel run. Which is actually a nice position to be in, to not be like guaranteed a win just because of the character you are. Guaranteed to be a little bit ahead of where you'd expect to be from the very start of the game, but not guaranteed a win. Don't mind a greed fight. Don't really want the money, but it'll give us more keys pretty much inevitably, so might as well take advantage of that. 16's pretty good if we end up getting a Guppy's tail. Completely conceivable, and you know, we can afford to open this without even giving it a second thought, really. We should be fine. It looks like our time's a little bit dangerous right now, but I don't think that's the case. Once we're able to focus and uh, just focus on one enemy, it'll be a very easy finish. We might be able to beat Mom in like under 20 seconds, so we have like a minute and 20 seconds here. It should be a super easy finish. No Eternal Heart, please. And that could have been great, but instead was just okay. Yeah, one more, uh, one more of those and we're good. There we go. Got Boss Rush, we got our Devil Room. Let's check the Devil Room first. Don't mind it. Don't mind it. Now we got permanent Polaroid invincibility as well. Lump of Cold does nothing for us, but we'll take it. And let's see what's in Boss Rush, if it's worth doing. Dark Bomb. It's exactly what we asked for. Now, I don't think the Algiz Rune will last us the whole fight. So I want to, you know, choose my battles wisely. Start using it somewhere around the halfway point. Should be using Red Candle more. I'm always When I play co-op with Kate, I'm always like, you should use the candle more when you got it. And then I'm not even following my own advice here. Yeah, there we go. We're not generating as many flies as we might like as a result of, uh, I guess, having Brimstone as our main method of attack. What the heck hit me there? His, heck, his second eye probably popped out, I guess. But this is, it, it doesn't make us unkillable immediately, it makes us unkillable very quickly. Oh, I forgot we had a revenge fly here. So now that we've actually taken a hit, that's going to really speed up this whole process. That's going to be awesome. We can make him run through that. I think red candle might spawn flies as well. It might even spawn more flies, like per unit, than, uh, than the brimstone shots do. Can't say for sure. Well, I mean, someone can. I cannot, though. There we go. Alright, sorry little chub. You're extremely helpful for us. But, uh, we gotta take you out now. Don't wanna shoot the red poop as an enemy is potentially about to spawn in it. Uh, starting, you know, like, now we can probably pop the Algas rune. We'll start on the next wave, because, like, these guys are already dead. Oh, never mind, I should've started right away. Got out of there probably just in time. All right, let's pop Algae's rune. We just the only thing that's dangerous is we, we don't afford or can't afford to take damage right now. Like later on, we'll have a lot of opportunity to do so because we'll have little uh, little Chad Dark Bum. For now though, we've got to play it a little cooler than that. Got to stay smart. Not the fastest boss rush we've ever had, but it's in there. That was lucky. 
Oh, okay, Algis is about to run out, so let's be careful here. Thank you, flies. And we're on the, uh... We're on the horseman now. At this point, I don't know what I'm hoping for. Anything that doesn't... Anything that works for us, like, just don't give me an HP upgrade that fucks up our, uh... Poor Babylon setup. Figured, yeah, throw one of those in there. We probably should have been doing that from the start, like throwing in a... A red candle just to... Just to fuck with enemies. Right at the start. Easy enough. One more wave after this should be no problem. Probably basically killed the horseman already. Little low on HP. It's gonna happen from time to time. And we're done, effectively. Oh yeah, Cricket's head will do. That's an acceptable choice. All right, let's get down there. This oh, never mind. Let's check this out. Good start. All we need to do is not severely fuck up this run. It's an easy run to win at this point. It sucks that we don't get to deal with the devil here, but it's a very easy run to win. As long as we allow like we give Dark Bum a chance to do its job, basically. Dark Bum does its job. We got no issues. All it's got to do is pick up red hearts. All we got to do is not lose so many spirit hearts that its equilibrium point doesn't get reached. No reason not to. A little bit trickier of an Azazel run than the average. But largely, I think that's due to me in that like middle section of the game failing to remember that I had Horror of Babylon and causing myself to not do nearly as much damage and thus take more damage than I should have. Keep in mind, of course, second secret rooms could be huge gets for us. That should be a payout. Yeah, Spirit Heart. Second secret rooms could be huge payouts for us with a bunch of red hearts on them. That's the kind of thing that can easily tip uh, the equilibrium even further in our balance. This poor motherfucker stands no chance. And we'll sacrifice the Spirit Heart to get into our curse room. Thought I was being smart, but <laughs> we are going to take a hit on the way out as well. Alright, a little dangerous. Keep in mind we have the mom fight uh, right away. So, like, basically we're going to be on the cathedral soon. But we got a really, really good spider army backing us up right now. Didn't want to waste any flies, but shit happens. Um, yeah, those, those spiders, if they don't all die against the first boss, should be great for us. That's a really useful spirit heart as well. And, ah, uh, there's a lot of spiders, man. Double Loki, you should seriously have no chance. And we've still got a lot, oh, that's such good damage. Uh, no tinted rock that I can see. Should still have a lot of these available for the mom fight. Mom's already half dead, she's, she doesn't even know what enemies she's trying to spawn right now. Let's just stand back. Again, HP is our, our be-all end-all right now. Just stand back, or at the edge of your range. Damn it. Fucked it up a little bit. And we're, we're still not totally set as we head to the cathedral. But we, uh, we're not far off, probably. Boss room is that way, so might as well take this time to sort it out. Go to our secret room. Still need some, uh, still need some spirit hearts if we're gonna completely sell this one. I'm very sorry, but I hate key beggars. After the last run, you know, you should tell your friend not to be such an asshole. Both of your friends. You might have more than two friends, but both of the friends that you have that I know. Judgment and key judgment. Ah, uh, this is great. Okay. This is why I went through boss rush in the first place. That dark bum pickup is, is just too poetic for us. We can, we can fly, whereas Azel, of course. But better to take the time to think about it than to just, you know, not think about it and do it and, and be penalized as a result. Amnesia. What a what a useful pill. Just always. Just finish. No, okay. It's alright, I'll do it myself. There we go. No, I thought that was a red heart drop. Every time, you know, a red heart drops, an angel gets its wings. I'm really hoping for a sweet, uh, we'll, could use this here, but I'm going to save it for the big room. That could be a payout. Really hoping for uh, a sweet second secret room here. You know what, I don't want to, 
fucking do this? Just let me out? And then we got pills. Tella, Tella, Tella. Uh, when the sun shines, we'll shine together. I don't really want to tell her, but I'll do it anyway. Uh, we're, I don't know what we're going to do with this. We'll try to use it on the, uh, the chest somewhere. I have basically just placed a moratorium on fighting Super Envy if I don't have to. If we're trapped in the room, you know, we'd probably be able to do it just fine. But uh, if we don't have to, I'm not gonna. Very thankful for the spiders. We're not going to have an, as easy a time as we had against Mom because we don't have nearly as many spiders, actually. But... Should be able to make it work regardless. Really, really hoping on a uh, spirit heart payout here. Very helpful. Thank you so much. Okay. Drop in some red candle action. Hmm. There's not much, you know, we, we can't get around it. We got to get in there probably. The good news is when we hit, it's going to do a ton of damage. The bad news is it's just hard to get that damage done in the first place. There we go. A little better. I think I got lucky with that. And probably with that as well. Now that he's in this phase, this might be one of those times where it's actually easier for us to, to tackle him in this phase than it is in the normal uh, priority order. That's not good damage, by the way. You probably don't need me to tell you that, but... Azazel v. Isaac is, is not always a great matchup. That was a little tricky, but we're, we're still alive here, and if we repeat the same thing against Blue Baby, we should be fine. But we'll have these items with us as well. No? No? Uh, no? Uh, yes. Yes. Absolutely. Wee -oo, wee -oo. Let's telepill, see where we end up. Double adversary. Great start. <laughs> that being said, now we have a much easier way. Basically, we've got, we've got Brimstone, but we can control it, like, where it goes. So this is a win now. Our only problem before, the only thing that made this look even the slightest bit dangerous, was the fact that we had to get right up close and personal with an enemy in order to kill them. Now, especially with the mulligan, we're going to be generating so many flies, and we can hit with brimstone from anywhere. So, it's it's over. That was one situation where the Ludovico technique basically won us the game instantly right there. Dark Bum kept us alive long enough to make it happen. Not that we necessarily needed it, but, you know, Dark Dark Bum played a major role. Ludovico technique just blew it wide open. That's, that's all there is to it at this point. And if we find our boss room quickly, we can, you know, finish this one and one and finish this one. Finish this one and it'll all be over uh, very, very quickly here. Not that I want it to be over now that we've got this sweet-ass synergy that we have gotten twice, in, you know, relatively recently. But... It's rare to have a chest that gives you one item that just changes things as much as that one did. And it really, really did. We don't need red candle anymore, but, uh, you know, we, we have it, so... We stand over here in the corner, and then that'll give us the widest possible circle we can get. I don't know if it actually makes it do more damage, but I would assume that's a reasonable assumption. I'm very sorry, Lokis. Oh, man, this is so much better. <laughs> You know, fuck your range, basically. Oh, it's our second secret room, so I'm assuming the boss room is close. There is no escape. There we go. Might as well get our last spirit heart, but... Oh, it's it's unlikely to matter. Oh, I, I fucked it up and did not. Sorry, Dark Bum, but it's okay. We're going to put you right there and, you know, fire in red candle when we can. Dodge in between the shots. Generate enough flies to make you hate your life right now, and uh, this, is, this is over, man. Great finish on that run, and we've got a, a nice little baseline of our streak going. Next, we'll be back with Needin Run. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal, and of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.